Uh, it gives us great pleasure to welcome all of you to the MOU signing ceremony involving Mahidon University, of course Thailand, uh, and the University of uh, Manitoba, Canada. Uh, let me start quickly just by previewing our schedule. Uh, shortly after we uh, finish speaking here, um, we'll uh, view an audiovisual presentation by the Faculty of Environment and Resource Studies, where you are now. Um, then we'll uh, enjoy a welcome speech by the Dean of the Faculty, our faculty. Um, and then we'll have a talk by our guest, uh, Dr. John Sinclair, uh, perhaps on the work he's been doing uh, at the University of Manitoba, the Natural Resource Institute. Um, around two o'clock, uh, uh, Dr. Sinclair will continue on uh, if he has the stamina after his long trip uh, and give us a, a presentation entitled Achieving Meaningful Public Involvement in the Environmental Assessment of Hydro Development, and I believe that's based in India. After that, um, we will have earned a much needed coffee break, uh, and then everybody will be invited back uh, to the signing of the MOU, uh, which should happen approximately uh, 3.15. Next, please enjoy our faculty, our presentation, which will be followed by the welcome speech by Associ Associate Professor Dr. Kamana Pakdikun, the Dean of the Faculty of Environment and Resource Study, Mahidon University.
announce I have the honor to invite Associate Professor Dr. Kamanat Paktikun, the Dean of the Faculty of Environment and Resource Study, Mahidol University, to deliver his welcome speech. Professor Dr. John Sinclair, the Chair of the University of Manitoba's Sustainability Committee. Professor Dr. Sitipong Dilokpanit, Advisor to the Dean. Professor Lu Pon Punakan, Vice Dean. Professor Jam Long Arunlet Ali. Professor Saranya Surit Kun. Lecturers and staff of the Faculty of Environmental Resource Studies, Mahidol University. Invited guest students, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Faculty of the Environmental Resource Studies, Mahidon University, I am pleased to welcome distinguished representative of the Natural Resources Institute, the University of Manitoba, Canada, to our faculty for the signing ceremony of the MOU between Mahidon University, Thailand, and the University of Manitoba, Canada. First of all, I want to express my appreciation to the University of Manitoba for entering into this initiative between our two institutions and thereby providing an excellent collaborative opportunity. Additionally, I would like to thank Assistant Professor Dr. Siti Pong de Lokmanit, Advisor to the Dean, and Dr. Jula Pon Gamnet Pet for their strong support to ensuring this MOU is realized. Ladies and gentlemen, this agreement will incorporate a range of joint collaborations, including educational and academic exchange, and hereby affirm the intent to promote such cooperative activities as will be of mutual benefit for our respective institutions. Cooperative initiatives are considered here to include, but not be limited to the following. The first one, development of mutually beneficial academic programs and courses. The second, coordination of academic staff exchange for the purpose of teaching, research, and training. The third one, coordination of students' exchange programs for study and research. The fourth, coordination of academic activities such as joint research publication and symposia. The fifth one, the exchange of documentation and research materials in fields of mutual interest provided that to the best knowledge of the respective institutions, there is no prohibition at law or otherwise against the exchange. And the last one, other activities is considered by the relevant stakeholders to be of benefit to each party's education and research programs. In very many ways, the signing of the MOU today certainly marks the beginning of collaboration between the Faculty of Environment and Resource Studies, Mahidon University, Thailand, and the University of Manitoba, Canada. This MOU will provide us an umbrella for everyone to work under and will strengthen this international relationship cooperative activities that occur after the signing of this partnership will be mutually beneficial to the two institutions in the future. We hope that the final outcome of this collaboration will be a showcase that Mahidon University and the University of Manitoba can be proud of. Ladies and gentlemen, I do hope that 
Professor Dr. John Sinclair and his team during their visit to our university and Thailand in general will enjoy our sincere hospitality, the exotic beauty of Thai temples, and the rich culture of Thai people. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Ajahn Kapanad. Um, today, our faculty uh, is quite honored to have with us a very special guest, uh, Dr. John Sinclair, who since graduating in 1991, quite a long time ago, as a doctor of philosophy and geography from the University of Waterloo in Canada, go Warriors, has been a professor with the Natural Resource Institute at the University of Manitoba, and currently uh, chairs the university's sustainability committee. He lectures on, among other things, environmental assessment, environmental governance, uh, and individual and social learning through resource and environmental management. I hope that's correct. Uh, Dr. Sinclair's many, many research publications include a focus on community involvement and learning in the process of resource and environmental decision making. Uh, among his many awards, uh, he's also been recognized for his excellent outreach activities in the community. Uh, Dr. Sinclair has received such honors as the Campbell Outreach Award and the President's Outreach Award, University of Manitoba. Today, uh, Professor Sinclair has come a long way and has kindly agreed to give us a talk on the Natural Resource Institute, uh, uh, from which he's from, University of Manitoba. Followed by that, he will give a presentation on his work in India entitled, Achieving Meaningful Public Involvement in the Environmental Assessment of Hydro Development, uh, Case Studies from the Chamoli District. Um, I'm not sure if this very brief uh, summary of Dr. Sinclair's body of work does any justice at all to him. However, I am sure that we are all very eager to hear from him. As such, please uh, join me in welcoming him to the podium. 